Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to today's video all about the best setting powders for mature skin. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 powders for mature dry skin, for mature oily skin, for mature combo skin. I will be letting you know which powders are best for the face which work best for the under eyes and which are actually good for both. I uploaded this same video two years ago and looking back at that list of the powders I included then, I would still recommend all of those and I will link that video in the description box. But I do think that the powders I'll be showing you today are even better. There is one powder in particular, it's a drugstore powder that I will be telling you about in this video that has been my number one for the last several weeks since I purchased it. I use it over all of these. So I'll get to that one shortly. But first I wanna start with why I chose these specific powders, why I think they are the best. So here are the four things that I personally looked for when choosing these powders. I want them to be soft focus and wrinkle blurring. I want them to be pore smoothing. I want them to not be cakey and I want them to not have flashback in photos. So I'm going to start showing you the powders in no particular order. The first one is this talc free option from Shantikai. I would never have tried this beautiful powder had it not been for my fellow YouTuber and friend, Michelle Wong. A couple of months ago, I did a video where she chose all of my makeup. If you're not familiar with Michelle, she has a high-end luxury beauty channel here on YouTube. And when I have questions about luxury makeup, she is the person that I go to for answers. So she recommended that I try this powder. It is $65, it's crafted in Italy. It is cruelty-free, paraben-free, fragrance-free. It is whisper light. The downside to this powder, and it's a pretty big one, is that it only comes in one shade. On some websites, it's labeled as translucent, but on others, it's just labeled as light. Mine says light. So obviously the shade is not going to work for everyone. But if you have light to medium skin and you are looking for a talc-free, finely milled, weightless, beautiful setting powder, then I would definitely recommend this. And by the way, that Chantecaille powder can be used to lightly set under the eyes. It's not my go-to for setting under the eyes, but it can be used in that manner without looking cakey or dry. Next up is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. This powder is $60 for 10 grams. It comes in eight shades aside from colorless. Aside from the colorless shade, I also own this in natural and rosy light. I love the rosy light powder for underneath my eyes. It just brings such a beautiful brightness to the under eye area. And I know some of you might be thinking $60 for 10 grams, that is a lot. But this Hyaluronic Hydro Powder creates the perfect makeup finish and helps your skin to maintain its optimum moisture level. The Hyaluronic Acid delivers deep hydration. It holds the water in your skin. This formula also contains antioxidants that strengthen the skin barrier. This powder is amazing for all skin types. Not only does it mattify, but it blurs those imperfections, those fine lines, wrinkles, pores. Your skin just looks flawless and so smooth. Now the next powder was actually recommended to me by you guys, my viewers, after I think it was my last best powders video. This is the Cody Original Air Spun Loose Face Powder. This product has been around forever. I think most of us who are 40 years old plus have at one time or another tried out this product. It's kind of iconic. And the only reason why I never really used it in videos or put it in a lot of my recommendations videos is because of the strong scent that the original has. Apparently there was at one time, or maybe there still is, an unscented formula 
but I looked online and I could not find it in stock anywhere. But if you don't mind the fragrance, this is a really nice, affordable powder option, especially for mature skin. There's a reason why it's been around for so long and so many people love it and go back to it over the years. It retails for around $6, you know, depending on where you purchase it. And it is a very nice, silky, blurring powder. I will say though, that the other drugstore powder that yes, I'm making you wait for it. <laughs> I'm so in love with it and I definitely would choose it over this one, but this one is still good and I wanted to include it in my top 10. Now I'm complaining about the fragrance in that powder, but my next favorite also has a fragrance, but to me it's a lot more subtle and it's a lot more appealing or pleasing, at least to my nose. That is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. This one would not be my top pick for dry mature skin, but if you have oily or combo to oily mature skin, I think you're gonna love this. It's one of my personal favorites. It's the one that I have repurchased a couple of times in the last couple of years. I don't know if I said this yet, but I use the shade Pound Cake. And this is a powder that I like to not only set my face with, but I love it for setting my under eyes. It's one of the only loose powders that I've ever used that does not make my under eyes look dry and cakey. Now that said, I'm lucky enough not to have a ton of deep lines underneath my eyes, so this just works really well for me. It's truly one of the only powders that I can use for both my under eyes and my face and have it work equally well for both. This powder comes in eight shades and retails for $34. And I went for the shade Pound Cake because I did want to use it for setting my under eyes and I like that it has this very soft yellow tint to it. I don't like it when a powder has too much yellow to it because it can make your under eyes look, well, yellow. Some do a good job of just counteracting the blue and purple tones that make up the dark circles underneath our eyes and give a brightening effect, but other yellow powders, especially on lighter skin like mine, can make your skin just look yellow, which is not the look you're probably going for. So this is a very soft, soft, pale yellow, perfect for brightening lighter skin. But as I mentioned, it comes in seven other shades. I do believe there is a perfect shade for everyone in this range. But again, this particular powder does have a fragrance and I do feel like it's better for combo to oily and oily versus dry or very dry skin. Okay, powders number five and six are actually pressed powders. And these are amazing. Both of these are amazing for the face and under eyes of all skin types. Now, if you have very, very oily skin, these are not gonna do anything to control oil, but they are both so good at diffusing the look of pores, blurring fine lines, just giving you that really, really airbrushed appearance. And the first one is the high-end option, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I have gone through so many of these powders. I just love it so, so much. I use the shades one and two. I use shade one to set my under eye concealer and I use shade two on the rest of my face. I just love this powder. And pretty much every time that I rave about this powder, someone in my comments tells me to try the number seven powder. This is the Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Finishing Powder. I have the shade light. And in those comments, people were saying that this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. And I would have to say it's pretty close. This is a beautiful, beautiful powder. There's something about this one that I just love a little bit more. Maybe it's because I just adore the Charlotte Tilbury line in general. It's probably my favorite luxury makeup brand. So I think I'm a little biased, but this, as I said, is a fantastic powder as well. It does a fantastic job of lightly setting your under eyes, setting your face to just give you that 
just enough airbrushed look where you're not gonna look flat, matte, you're still gonna maintain a little bit of a glow. What more can I say? They're both just beautiful powders. Okay, I won't make you wait any longer to share my new favorite powder. I don't know why I waited so long to try this. Wet and Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. This is so good. I filmed this video hoping to show you, hoping to give you an example of how beautiful this powder is, how well it works on just taking down a little bit of shine that I always have and really blurring my large pores just as good as any high-end powder I've ever tried. I'm just so impressed by this. I purchased it on a whim when I was picking up items for a drugstore video and I saw that the reviews were great and the reviews are not wrong. I bought this for $5.99 at Target and I'm going to just rave about it to anyone who will listen because it is so good. But if you are just a die-hard luxury makeup user, the next two are going to be right up your alley. This is the Chanel Poudre Universal Libre Natural Finish Loose Powder. I probably just butchered that name. I apologize. I did take French in high school, but I didn't do very well in it. I think I got a C. This powder comes in eight shades. It retails for $52 and you get 30 grams of product. So Chanel, so good. I purchased this when I did a one brand tutorial using all Chanel and I had not used a Chanel powder for years. I worked at a Chanel counter 21 years ago, 22 years ago. It was around 19, gosh, it was 1998 to 2000 is when I worked for Chanel. And the powder was not this good back then. This, just like all the others, is beautiful in texture, really just refines your skin and gives you that airbrushed look. It sets your makeup. I found that this even offered a little bit of shine control. So I would recommend this Chanel powder for all skin types. And this too can be used on both the face and under eyes. Next up is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. This product retails for $46 and you get 10.5 grams of powder. Again, we have another finely milled weightless powder. It blurs imperfections, minimizes the appearance of pores, and it's a translucent formula. And from the reviews that I've read, it works on all skin tones. It doesn't have a whitish cast, whether you have light skin or medium skin, dark skin, this one shade actually will work. And that's pretty hard to find. And I do wanna mention that this powder is cruelty-free and vegan friendly, and it's also talc-free also infused with diamond powder for the most refined light refraction without any flashback, which as I mentioned is a top criteria when I select the best setting powders. Now this powder is really great for extending the wear of your makeup and for setting your under eye concealer. It just doesn't have the brightening effect that some of these others do that have a little bit of a tint to them. A translucent powder in my mind is as I just said, great for setting your makeup, but it's not gonna offer you that brightening like tinted powders do. And lastly, how could I do a top setting powders video without mentioning the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder? But, and there is a but here, I do not like this for setting the under eyes. Whenever I've attempted to set my under eyes using this powder, I instantly looked 10 to 15 years older. This is an amazing powder for setting your foundation. And if you're oily, for helping to control oil. I love taking a powder puff with this powder and really working it into my skin and giving my foundation just incredible longevity. And it's great at doing all of the things that all these powders do which is to give my skin a more flawless appearance. But I can tell you that this is not it when it comes to setting the under eyes. Now the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, that comes in a little container and that's actually pretty darn good for setting the under eyes. But honestly, 
before I'd reach for that, I would try one of these others, especially the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder or even the Wet n Wild Soft Focus. Now I've personally been using this powder off and on for more than 20 years. And when I started using it, this was the only loose powder option that Laura Mercier had. Now there is a glow version of this powder that is supposedly better suited for drier skin. And looking at the reviews, they are pretty good. Oh, by the way, this powder retails for $39 and you do get 29 grams. So the glow finish powder comes in two shades, translucent and medium. And unfortunately, I can't give you firsthand experience with that powder, but as I said from the reviews, they look pretty good. So it might be worth trying. But if you have more combo to oily or oily skin, I would recommend this for sure, but only for the face, not the under eyes. And I almost forgot to mention that there are also two more shades of this translucent formula. There wasn't more than one shade, again, back when I started using this. Now it does come in a honey version, which is great for medium skin tones with warm olive and golden undertones. And then it also comes in a deep shade. Actually, it's called medium deep, and it says that that one is perfect for medium deep to the deepest skin tones. Okay, I always have to go back and count and make sure that I really do have 10 powders here. And there they are. Those are what I consider to be the best setting powders for mature skin. Now granted, I have not tried every powder out there, but I've tried a lot and coming up with this list was not easy. But I think I've really given you the best of the best at all different price points. Of course, I always love to hear what some of your favorites are in the comments. You've gotten me to try the Airspun again, as well as the number seven powder. You all always have the best recommendations for me. So I would love for you to leave me a comment. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. As always, everything will be listed and linked in the description box. And I will include the makeup that I am currently wearing on my face. I will list and link everything as well. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I do try to upload new videos at least twice per week. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok under the same username. It's all Risa Does Makeup. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.